we are on <laughs> good morning everyone i have kendra with me here welcome kendra this is so awesome hi so i'm gonna actually tag you you see it's asking me oh okay yes i tagged you and so we are we are in nanuet at peak physique we just finished the morning sessions and i want you to hear her story step by step how much weight she's lost and she's lost so far is as of today the total weight loss is total weight loss is 64 64 pounds and i know that a lot of you've seen her transformations because she posts on ig right now we actually live on instagram we live on regular facebook page my facebook page and you can hello hello everyone you can ask us questions we can actually re respond to you later on this story is amazing we have a lot of people that lost tremendous amount of weight but today we're just gonna mention that yes Kendra's been working out here for a while tell us how long it's been six six months almost seven months S seven months total weight loss is over 60 pounds however she has lost how much with peak physique 45 with peak physique and Herbalife 45 with peak physique and Herbalife okay hello hello everyone welcome welcome we're gonna be waving to you whatever we can do <laughs> to keep you going so let's start from the very beginning because this story is super amazing as you see i mean she can show herself i mean this is crazy 60 over 60 pounds that's a, a, a huge achievement and we need to really be victorious about it every single win it's her victory every single small step so tell us before you even came for peak tell a little bit of of, of your story because you have two kids mm -hmm. you are a busy mom who runs a business right. and mentioned that business because we wanted to mention that business if you can of course yeah my lularoe my, i sell lularoe clothing clothing for women and um yeah life is busy kids are busy but tell us you were what your day looked like a long time ago what, because Lula, you've been doing already, you've been selling this for a while right now. Right. And you got to a point that, what was your weight? I was over 200 pounds. Over 200 pounds. I want to really relate this story to all these moms, all these women that are very busy right now, okay? We have busy lives. And so what your day looked like? Let's put it this way. You would get up and what happened? I would get up and I would have a cup of coffee cup of coffee so listen to this this is very interesting cup of coffee did you eat breakfast hello 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 i did not eat breakfast okay she did I not eat put breakfast. a bunch of fake sugar in my coffee and creamer in my coffee listen to this this is good so um, sugar cream into her coffee just why to get you going i just love coffee okay she loves coffee maybe you love coffee too so sugar cream sugar cream milk all the all the stuff you put in coffee I did that in the morning I would get my kids off to school um, and then I probably wouldn't eat till about one or two o'clock in the afternoon when I started to feel myself getting shaky that you relay I, are you relaying to this story because you are probably right now so one or two you would get some I would get shaky and I wouldn't feel good and it would happen like that it would just hit me like a ton of bricks and I would be like starving and like, oh my God, I have to eat right now. And then the first thing you do when you feel like that is you'll, I, I'll grab something like full of carbs. I would, um, just, you would drive a step anywhere or what would like you do? I would do, I, right. Most of the time I would be out, not home. If I, if I was home, I would find something quick to eat, which would probably be like my kids pizza bagels that I could put in the microwave for okay. a minute and a half, um, a grilled cheese. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich something okay. fast something carby something that would like just quickly fill me up and make me stop shaking okay um or if i was out i would my kids love mcdonald's i would go and get mcdonald's with them or pizza so all carby unhealthy yeah. food i'm sure you are thinking this is like me this is what i'm dealing right right now and what was next so you would have what one meal a day I would have that usually, and then I would get some more coffee with some more creamer in it. Okay. And um, a little battery. And then it would be time to get the kids. So I would get the kids, and I would make them their after-school snacks, and then it would be dinner time. And I would have no plan. I didn't have something on the 
menu to make for dinner and then every night at like five o'clock once again I started getting all shaky and hungry what am I gonna make for dinner and I was too hungry at that point to even make sense of it so I we would order pizza something quick yeah not think about it yeah because I didn't have a plan I didn't have something healthy it wouldn't have been defrosted and we would just order pizza or again I would just like eat the scraps off my kids plates oh boy and and so you, you would just never had a plan you but no. but tell me how did you feel after a day like this at nighttime did you feel tired like all the time tired did you feel like not happy about your decisions no. did you feel and like I had um the worst acid reflux yes. from it my I always had to take some kind of like Tums or something so oh, always so that's definitely from all the crap that I ate during the day. Absolutely. So what made you that decision that you said to yourself, you know what, Kendra, I'm done with this Kendra. I'm was, looking in the mirror and what happened? That got to the point. I was done with that Kendra. I just kept on having to buy bigger pants and bigger pants. And then when those last big pants that I bought started to be uncomfortable and all I did was wear leggings and I'm like, I just, I just felt horrible. I was tired. I was, my skin was bad. Um, my acid reflux and I just knew I needed to make change. It was time. It was time. So that she made the decision. She found us. She started with us a long time ago. Yes. She started with peak and, but we're not going to be concentrating on peak today. Peak placed a huge role in the way it was because that's how the sessions are designed. We are experts in the field. That's what she did. She put that work, but she put that work and not only in workouts, she put that work in her food. Mm -hmm. But why you decided to try Herbalife? Why? What was the reason that you, it pushed you? Because there are so many different products on the market. People shop, people ask us, what is the right thing? And you get, there's so much information floating in the air right now mm -hmm. and online and on IG that you get so much info that you get confused. Most of you are getting confused and I totally understand because how can you pick what is good? Like, how do you know if this is the right thing that this works? Why did you pick this one? Why, what made you really choose this one? I was seeing the results of people here. I had joined and I think I didn't start the Herbalife until later a on a few weeks into working out here. And I just saw the results of people using it and I still wasn't eating right. I was trying and I knew that losing weight was, you know, 70% in the kitchen, 30% in the gym or whatever they say. And yeah, there, really, there is like a breakdown that you I can... wasn't really seeing the results as fast as I wanted to. So I, and then I was not a shake person. I was never... Tell this because this is very important because I remember when we did the yeah. previous interview and you were saying you were not a shake person. I was you very against not. it. I always said, I want to chew my calories. I don't want to drink my calories. It just seemed unsatisfying to me. It's but, hard, yes, because a lot of you probably think, how is that possible that you're going to be drinking a shake? How can you satisfy yourself? Mm -hmm. Especially that someone that's been always chewing and eating maybe big portions. Some of you might have that, that mm -hmm. eating big portions. How can I satisfy myself? But there is a way of doing it, right? Yeah. So she, Kendra found Herbalife. She decided, okay, I'm going to do this. And you choose a healthy meal. So that's what we want to say, the do's and don'ts and what she did, because you might find yourself with the same story. That's why we're doing it. So you said, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And so, so you've got pick, nothing to lose. You yes. Can, there's a satisfaction guarantee. So that always gets me too. If I don't awesome. like it, yes. I can send it back if I don't like it. And I tried it. So I, I told myself I was going to use the healthy meal for my breakfast and lunch. Those so we're going to show you. That's her favorite, actually favorite <laughs> flavor the banana caramel we're showing it that's here breakfast. that's her breakfast i just finished it yes she you see this is this is real my after she workout just, breakfast. yes <laughs> so and we're gonna break it down for you that do's and don'ts and this is the trick you add another protein into it so yep. check it out these two personalized protein powder and healthy meal will get you to the point of fullness and why we say personalized protein powder it's it's actually this name came from being personalized to a person meaning if Kendra starts a program and someone else in her household would start the program 
Her husband might be using three tablespoons of personalized protein powder into a healthy meal, but she might use only two. Based on how much protein you need, how much weight you need to lose, and how satisfied you are with the shake. You are using between one to three tablespoons of the personalized protein powder plopped into two scoops of this. Did you use almond milk or cashew milk or any other milk? I Hello. Use, I use cashew milk because it's less, a little less calories. The 25 unsweetened vanilla yes. is what I use. And I feel like it's a little bit creamier and thicker than the almond milk. Okay, I love cashew. So I, I, I love cashew the milk. cashew, yeah. Okay, so she's using a cup of cashew milk, which is, we're talking about eight ounces. She puts yeah, these put it together. In here, and there's a line. I yeah. fill it up there. Let's show it. It's eight ounces, so she exactly knows. Pretty tough. <laughs> it's okay. It's but this makes it easy. This is like that little ninja bullet, and you put all your stuff in, and you twist it up, and then you just bloop right in the thing. I put my to-go cap on, and I walk out the door. Ice, and you're ready. But this is very important. My friends and people that are actually watching you have a lot of people watching you on Instagram. Good morning. <laughs> this is awesome. Because you need to blend the protein. Don't just shake it in mm -hmm. a shaker. I tried it. It was, nope. It's not it's good. It's and watery. And we're going to be honest about it. I tried. It's not good. The protein shakes are not meant to be like this. You need to blend them with mm -hmm. ice. You need to make them creamy. But so you told me I have right? to blend. I don't like it with ice. But I don't you like do it when just my drink is very She's, cold. So she doesn't like with ice. She does just with uh, um, 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 uh, cashew, cashew milk. milk I, and I that's just blend it. it up. And it's fine. And it's very. And it creamy. makes it creamy. It makes it creamy. Really good. That's fine. But you need to blend it together. Yes. You need to have that spin into it. Right. right? It's like that Nutri Bullet or the Ninja. Yeah. One of those little individual. Yes. They very good. They very good sh shakers. Good for. We we advertise the, another another no. company right now. <laughs> should we should we tag them in the post, right? So okay, so this is one thing. But you do this twice a day. Twice now. a day. So what else do you use? We have these products kind of set it yeah. because we wanted to show you what is her kind of um, breakdown of the day, how she does it, what she's using it. So what else do you use? I still have my coffee when I wake up in the morning, but I've eliminated all of the fatty creamers and fake sugars that I would put in my coffee. And I actually use um, a pre-made protein drink in my coffee to sweeten it and make it creamy. Fantastic. So that's what okay. I have when I first wake up in the morning because I still need my coffee. Okay. So um, she didn't get rid of it. It's fine. It's right. there. But shortly after waking up and getting my kids off to school, I come to the gym and work out. But you don't want to work out on an empty stomach. She knows it. That's true. So I drink this. And we're going to tell you way. exactly what it is. Let's wave to your friends. <laughs> so we have aloe. 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 Aloe, there is few flavors. It's up to you which one you choose. There can be mango. There's four different flavors. Choose the one that you want. We have herbal tea concentrate. One this, why this one? This one burns calories, 70 calories per cup. Your body needs to use 70 calories to burn the tea and gives you energy, right? And then we use beverage drink mix. This has 70 calories, it's 15 grams of protein, but tastes like juice. So again, it's up close. It's my favorite drink of the day. So you put them together. I put them all together and I drink that while driving to the gym. So I'm not on an empty stomach. I have some energy from the tea. Um, that's taken place of my second cup of coffee that I used to sit and have every morning. Um, and then I do my workout. And then as soon as I'm done with my workout, she I have my healthy meal, which is my banana breakfast. caramel. That's her favorite. Again, that's her favorite. And then personalized protein powder. Awesome. Yep. So this is together. You repeat this twice a day. Yes. Then I do it again for lunch. Maybe, you know, one o'clock. I'll have another one. Okay. Do you have anything? So you had this one. Will you have anything in between one meal or the other? Um, sometimes, like today I took a later class, so probably not. But if I take a 9 a.m. class, then I'll probably have another beverage mix in between or a bar. Okay. A so we have times a week. So these bars, these are the, the Herbalife line, the new Herbalife line that has 24 grams of carbs, 4 grams of sugar, 20 grams of cal protein, but you don't necessarily need to eat the whole bar. If you like, you can divide it in half. So there are two flavors of this one. You can use this one or any other brand that is an Herbalife brand. So she mixes these 
And you mix it with again. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is not a way. <laughs> so, so she would have a bar and and then a shake and then yep. what else? Drink a lot of water. Drink plenty of water. I will have the some protein chips maybe like before dinner to hold me over so I don't end up eating dinner too early in the day so that I'm hungry again at night because I was always a nighttime eater. So she knows. She yeah. knows that that was her weakness. You know your body. You know your body and you know when you're hungry you need to re reach for uh, foods that are rich in protein. Yep. So she will have maybe the protein chips. Yep. And then what? And then I make and then I make a dinner. I'm not a fan of having to prepare food during the day. I don't like to just prepare food. I don't like to have to cook yeah. anything. Or... And it's okay. Not everybody likes to cook, right? You don't I'm have not, time. I'm you... usually not home, and I need to make two of these in the morning and, and throw it in my bag with some chips, and I'm set for the day. And um, I'll cook. I'll cook a healthy dinner. And what's for dinner? Like, give us some example. What, uh, what do you? I make? love turkey burgers. I can make them a hundred different ways. You can make um you know greek turkey burgers veggie turkey burgers italian turkey burgers you can did flavor you, them a, a ton did, of different yes. ways do you, do you, what spices do you use do you have any particular that i you like? like to use cumin it gives it like a mexican chipotle type of flavor okay um but you can use whatever you like yeah. i use miss i use miss dash. dash because it doesn't have that doesn't have salt but you can use any other ones as long as it's like low sodium, right? Mm -hmm. And and what kind of um, like the turkey meat you buy? Do you might buy the low fat one? I get the ninety three. Okay, so it's eight grams of fat. Yeah, per I feel serving. like I because I when I do my fitness pal, I find I find that my fat and carbs end up being on the lower side throughout the day. Of course, because you're replacing. This, yeah, so I yes. need that extra fat. Yes. So that helps. So I, I did the 93 and then it's not so dry. You have, it's, you know, it's a. Okay. A okay. Okay. And, and, uh, and okay. And what else? Um, and then I'll do some kind of veggie. I'll roast a veggie. I'll roast some cauliflower. Um, I'll spice it up with something. Salads? I'm, Salads. Uh, not some, always. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. I like to have a nice warm meal for dinner because it's like my my chew meal <laughs> and that's but i'm so happy that she actually I like mentioned to chew, this so i like to just have like a nice hot dinner i do love salads um and once in a while during the during the, the week I'll, I'll want a salad for lunch okay but it's good that you're mentioning this because humans like to chew yeah don't be surprised that a lot of times you're gonna be like, okay, I'm drinking it, I'm drinking it, but it needs to chew. And you're gonna think this throughout the day today. And I guarantee you that you're gonna have that thought. I need to chew. And if we would have a doctor on the line, it would told it would tell definitely the same that we need to chew. And that's why you need to have something like crunchy, like the chips are good. I love the chips. Like or the those. protein bar, exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know about the protein chips, which a lot of people st still don't know, Quest does it. They created the protein chips. Make sure you're stepping by Vitamin Shop. If you have Peak Freak, you're going to Vitamin Shop and Nanuet. Yes, you're going to Vitamin Shop right there and you're ordering or ordering them online, it's whatever on is. Yes, whatever is convenient for you, but make sure that you have them. Yes, they hire on a salt because. <laughs> But it's it's a part of your daily intake. So, and this is your seven days a week pretty much plan. Do you mm -hmm. ever switch? Maybe the shake time, like maybe a breakfast and dinner. Yeah. So during the springtime, uh, when my son has baseball practices during the week, we don't really have time to cook dinner, and I know that I'm going to be out of the house until eight o'clock at night. Yes. So I will save my shake to take with me for dinner for later now there is another thing we are all human we have moments that we get off and we want something sweet right correct absolutely you, so even the six week six months six week six months journey she's done it it still wasn't hundred percent 
right? When you think about it, you have moments that you would go oh, yeah. out and eat some food you that your life. wasn't. You birthdays and holidays. So and she still managed. Mm -hmm. She still managed to do it. But did you do you think that you were more controlled? Over much, the fact that you were eating this, that when you went to these birthday parties or other parties, that you were prone to choose a better stuff, better food. Oh, definitely. Because here is the thing. When you learn how to eat and what you eat and what to avoid, which you can find the do's and don'ts directly from Kendra or from me, when you're going to make a little note, a little just direct message us. You will be direct messaging Kendra right now on Instagram and she will tell you the do's and don'ts. She can actually coach you because she's an Herbalife coach right now. Or you can send us a message directly here and we will I will answer them for you because we're going on two platforms right now, the Instagram and the, and the Facebook. So she still chose the better meals, but she still had a moments that she would go out and eat. Like the other day, you had something that you said, oh, it wasn't that good a few days ago. What was it that you well, My chose? birthday was a couple of weeks ago, or last, last weekend, two weekends ago. Um, and I ended up having uh, shrimp tacos, which okay. really isn't so bad, but you normally see, I wouldn't eat the taco yes. part of it. And I did, because that was my splurge okay. in moderation. Okay. So as you see, she's still managed and those are the things that you learn along the way. You learn the journey that you, even if you have a moment that maybe you want to have like a yogurt or a, like ice cream, instead of regular ice cream, you're going to choose a frozen yogurt. Maybe there is unsweetened uh, frozen yogurt. Those are the things that you're going to learn along the way, right? Yeah. Okay. You always have so, to stay in control. Exactly. And that's how the change comes. And that's how you are able to lose over 60 pounds. Six months, very smooth weight loss and very consistent, mm -hmm. right? But because you were consistent, right? Even though maybe like few moments you had, but you were very consistent. That you... was never an actual weight gain. The, the, those two pounds you'll see after having something that's like high in sodium or have a little extra carbs in it is really just like a, a water weight gain. And yes, you lose it. But Kendra, tell me, like, do you ever have days that, okay, you, you do this, but then you still crave something. What do you do if you, if you have a craving and you're still hungry? There might be days that maybe I did it the hungry. other day. I actually, I, I made a post on Instagram. Um, I just was craving something sweet. I don't know what it was. I just needed something that I don't normally have. So instead of having one of my kids' ice creams in the freezer... I cut up four strawberries and I cut it into like small pieces so it looked like a lot. And I cut up half a banana, which I have not had a banana in 10 months. So because that was we don't such eat them. a Shower treat. Sour treat, right? It, it's, a, it's very high in carbs, banana. But I just had them on the counter and they looked so good. So I cut up half a banana and then I made a Kodiak protein waffle which is oh. also like a weekend treat I'll have. Okay. And I cut that up and I put a couple spoonfuls of Greek yogurt on a plate and it was the best dessert treat. that I've had in a really long time. So you see, and those are the tricks that you're going to learn from your coach. It was coach. so good, but it was such a treat because it's not something that you have all the time. So you see strawberries, bananas, they can be a dessert and a high protein waffle can be a dessert mm -hmm. way, the, um, the right way. And that's how we do it. And that's what you're going to learn. So... We hope that this was helpful. She's available to you right now. Send her direct message. Send me direct message. And I will be able to respond to you after this uh, live. And try it today because today is the day. The day is the first. And we didn't make any jokes. This is actually a real story, okay? Mm -hmm. This is not April Fool's Day joke <laughs> that she did not lose no way. Just to be <laughs> sure about it. Because it's funny. It's, today is the first. It's time. It's time to get up and do it. Level up your weight loss today. Make a change. So, yes, you need to make the change. You can't keep on waiting. You keep on waiting, it's not going to happen. Another month, another two months, you're going to have summer and it's going to be too late. And that's not the time to start. The start is now. Look at the weather outside. Look through your window. Look what's happening out there. I know it might be hard in the beginning. We know it. She, she knows. She knows because she's been through 
and I've been through a weight loss after having two kids and losing the weight. So all of us have an experience in this field. So try it today and let us know how it goes. And of course, um, coaching is available. So send a message to Kendra today. Yeah. And we're going to have this in the form of a link, this whole video. We're going to save it. And if you need to look at this again, you will be able to. Thank you for watching. My, vo my, my voice is totally shy. No. I think I can't speak anymore. <laughs> I see a lot of people watching. Welcome all of you to the show. This is great. Any questions, let us know. And yeah, check Kendra. What's your what's your Instagram if people want to check? My you Instagram out. is Lularo Kendra Mendez. Yes. Nice and easy. Yes, nice and easy. Check her out. She's also tagged in the post, so you can check her Facebook. And yes, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. It's the day when you're starting. Talk to you soon. No excuses. Bye. Bye everyone.